Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to give you um, a little update on um, Killian. He turned four months old last week and we cannot believe how fast the time has gone by. Seems like he was just born <laughs> and now he's four months old. Aren't you Killian? Exciting. So I just wanted to take a little minute to explain some of the things that have been going on um, at this stage of four months. Um, we had a pediatrician appointment um, just before, like a day before he turned four months. Um, and so he is actually 15 pounds and about 26 inches long. He's a pretty long boy. Um, he's in the 92nd percentile for length. Um, but I can't remember what the percentile for height is, but he is, um, I mean, for for weight is, but he is, um, I guess, long and skinny, is what she had said. Um, with, the, with that being said, um, a couple of things we met with the um, pediatrician about was his vaccination schedule. We actually stagger his vaccination schedule. Um, so he has um, his DTaP and his rotavirus vaccines um, at the two-month mark and the four-month mark. Um, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be starting with him, and a couple of weeks after that, the um, pneumococcal. And so we're going to be on that schedule for the next few months moving forward. So that's one way you can stagger vaccination so you're not having them all at once if that's what you choose to do. Um, another thing um, that we talked to the pediatrician about is he apparently has some contact dermatitis. Um, and what we have figured out is probably from his washes, his body washes and body lotions. Um, his body wash that we're using I was using Baby Gannix and some other like all natural ones. They, those have essential oils and our pediatrician mentioned that especially lavender oil can be um, can be disruptive for this for sensitive skin like Killian has. Um, so she has told us to move over to Aveeno um, or Eucerin, the baby wash and the baby lotion. Uh, it needs to have no scent nothing in it kind of thing. Um, so we, we've been switching over to that now and using it and hopefully some of the um, dermatitis, he has some on his head and some on the sides, are um, start to clear up as a result. Um, she also mentioned as far as like laundry detergent, you want to try to use Draft or something that's um, pediatrician approved, um, it, which we use. And um, another thing that you want to do is you don't want to use dryer sheets. We don't use dryer sheets, but if you're someone who enjoys using dryer sheets, that can should be eliminated if you have the dermatitis, um, either yourself or your child has dermatitis. Um, another thing we addressed was he has um, a sleeping, some sleeping issues. He's up on average three or four times a night, and um, one night this past week he was up just about once every hour or so. And um, oops, I thought it was um, primarily a sleep association with him. I have been told by the pediatrician she's more concerned about the, it being his reflex. Um, he has reflux um, right now, and he, um, as you can see, he had a little bit of spit up there or a little earlier. Um, it's much better. <clears throat> I have removed dairy from my diet. That's a big part of it. And so that has absolutely helped with the, um, the he was vomiting quite often and quite a lot. Um, however, <clears throat> The dermat uh, the sorry the reflux could be what is causing him to wake up in the night. So what she suggested is that we get a wedge that goes underneath him, uh, underneath the mattress, underneath him that elevates him slightly. So I did buy one of those, and it seems to be helping um, a little bit as well. Um, so we do have that. I am, however, considering doing the Ferber method of sleep training just in case he does need a little help with that. Um, he is still at this point sleeping in his co-sleeper, but at 15 pounds he's really maxing out that co-sleeper. Um, so I have a smaller travel size pack and play in our room, um, and it's a transitions um, pack and play, so that um, I'm looking at this week, moving him over to that. It would require me getting out of bed to pick him up to nurse him, um, but I think that may be our best option right now to get him into a little bit more space, which may be a little bit more comfortable for him as well. Um, so, But for right now, I'm still using the, the co-sleeper, but I would say up to 15 pounds, and then the pack and play transitions goes up to 20 pounds on the medium setting, and then the full um, lower pack and play goes up through toddler. That's what this 
I said, I don't know what they mean by toddler. That's just one year, but I think we just use that for a year and then bring him into his crib, which is right next to me here to my left. And um, so that he can <clears throat> use his crib. Um, and at that point he shouldn't be getting up in the night. We should have that fix, that problem fixed. Um, one really cool thing he started to do is he started, he started to eat some cereal. So we have a nice high chair for him. He sits in his high chair and he eats rice cereal. He also eats bananas. He's had some avocado. Um, I'm looking forward to trying him with some peaches. He's tried apples. Um, but try him with some more apples and peaches and just some like little fruits for now and um, sweet veggies. Um, something that I think he might like to try. So we're so, so excited about that. It's going to be so, so cool. Um, another thing that's really cool that he's doing is he is like finding his feet, his body, his hands. He's rolling. He's trying to like crawl a little bit. He's chewing at everything. He's just interested in sights and sounds and music. <laughs> and um, he loves screens, so he loves the TV screen. He loves Snapchat. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll see many pictures of him and he loves it. <laughs> and um, he also loves any like an um, iPad or any kind of um, device like that, any kind of screen. He just is just excited to play with it and look at it and stuff. So we're trying to limit the screen use um, as much as we can, but with, you know, an eight year old and an 18 year old at home too, there's a lot of screens happening. Um, so we're always on a screen it seems. So um, Killian will probably be on screens quite often as well. Um, so his, it's really cool that he started to notice that. That's a change, I think, visually, that he's really able to notice the screen and, and see the finer points on the screen, which is really neat and really cool. Um, he makes a lot of noises. He coos, he laughs. He says hi sometimes, and he waves. So he kind of waves like this, like this, like he puts one arm up. Show him, Kelly. He just kind of goes like this to wave, um, and he does it primarily to my daughter. He loves to just wave to her. Um, so it's really, really cute that he started to do that. It's really, really sweet, and he's really started to engage with his um, eight-year-old brother and um, seems to be really interested in what his brother, Nolan, um, likes to do and, and, and everything. So um, I work full-time, so another thing I wanted to cover um, was his daycare. He's in daycare full-time from about 8.30 or 8, 8, 8.30 until 5, 5.30, four days a week, and then he's at home one day a week with me. Um, if you want to see um, how I organize my day, uh, my work at home day when he's home, so I will link that down below. As you can see, Killian has changed. He has his fancy glasses on. Nolan helped him out with that. <laughs> so we have that on, yeah. But anyway, so he's doing really, really great at daycare. He smiles, he engages with other students, other the teachers. He's having just a really wonderful and special time. I'm just gonna take this off for a second because I think it might bother him a little bit. <laughs> um, these are baby bands, by the way, if you're interested in these. Um, they are sunglasses with a band at the back. Um, so they're called Baby Bands, and I got them on Amazon. I'll link that below as well. And um, But he's doing amazing at daycare, which is so, so great. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited that you could be here. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much, and namaste.